this is Sarah. And this is Rachel. And this is producer Shay. And this is The Ripa Diaries, a podcast where we rip apart episode by episode The Vampire Diaries. But not today. Today we're doing trivia, which means there will be spoilers for the entire series right now. Um, because yeah. we're slumbering it. We're yeah. in our PJs. Yeah. We're all ready to go <laughs> and do some trivia. Yeah. As Sarah said, we're doing tri- TVD trivia. This has been highly requested by you all. So we had Shay, producer Shay, come up with a bunch of questions in the rules. And while we do some trivia, we're going to drink our Brothers Bond, Brothers Bond bourbon. And we're going to drink some of Nina's wine, you know, if we haven't blacked out by the time we get to her wine. So, you know, Shay, rules. All right. So I had the task of coming up with 100 questions. So you guys have the chance to play along, too, because there are Mm -hmm. nine categories, 10 questions each. And the categories are... We have season one and season two, because those are the seasons you guys just covered. Okay. After that, we have songs, quotes, villains. Ooh. And then we have lore. So that's basically everything related to Vampire Diaries, mythical lore. That could be hard. Mm -hmm. Uh Uh-oh. I'm kind of (laughs) worried. And then we have characters and then miscellaneous. So miscellaneous could be deaths, objects, locations. Okay. anything and then our last category is the listener listeners submitted questions so those are questions Ooh. that you guys gave to us Uh-oh. i asked you guys what you wanted to ask sarah and rachel you gave me questions they're pretty good i will say <laughs> so we're gonna go back and forth if they get the answer right they get a point simple as that and chance to steal oh yeah and if they get it wrong the other person gets to steal yeah yeah. I doubt well, there will be many getting it wrong. Yeah. At least I hope not, but yeah. we'll see. Maybe, yeah. you, maybe you guys went tough on us and listeners. Yeah. We'll see. So now, before we do the first question, yeah, yeah, yeah. producer Shay is going to ask a quick question in rapid fire style. Whoever answers it first wins the right of going first mm-hmm. in the game. So producer Shay. All right. Are you guys ready? I think yes. so. All right. I'm scared. And your <laughs> question too. is, first one to answer goes first. In what year... Did Klaus and Stefan meet? 1921. Your guess? 1920. Both wrong. <laughs> That's a hard one. <laughs> Rachel was closer, though. It was 1922. You have to get bleeped. <laughs> yeah, you can bleep me. Okay. okay, Rachel will go because she was closer. It was 22. 22. <sighs> I want to know that. All right. Okay. I guess I'm going first. Okay. And then just as a reminder, each category is in order of Easiest to hardest. So mm-hmm. we'll start out easy, then it'll get harder. Okay. okay. All right. First category is season one. First question, Rachel. What was the name of the car wash fundraiser? <laughs> oh, Mystic Falls Sexy Suds Car Wash. No. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I had to think about it. I love the Sexy Suds Car Wash. It's so funny. <laughs> All right. Okay, Sarah, you ready? Yep. All right, your easy question. Who wins Miss Mystic Falls? Oh, Miss Caroline Forbes, obviously. Obviously. Obvious. Although also Amber, what's her name? April Young? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Second April time. Young I was just looking time, for yeah. Caroline. Well, it's, I it guess was, it was the category season, one, is season one, one, so oh, okay, let's not okay. get crazy. I okay, think okay. that counts as wrong. Rich, like, take her points away. <laughs> no points. No. No. Uh, this is why we said this game will end our friendship. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> All right, Rachel, back to you. Second hardest. Again, the difficulty is not that relative. But second question. What decade is the dance in Unpleasantville? Unpleasantville. Oh, it's season one. Duh. 50s. (laughs) (laughs) Correct. Uh Uh-oh. It's not looking good for me. (laughs) No, the only time we're going to get things wrong is because we're overthinking. Yeah. It's because we know too much. Exactly. Which decade dance? 50s, 60s, 20s, or the canceled 80s one? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) All right. Sarah, your next question. How did Bonnie acquire Emily Bennett's talisman necklace? Caroline gave it to her. Yeah, because to go with her witch costume for Halloween. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Nice. Nice. I feel more accomplished in this game than I do in any aspect of my life. <laughs> yeah. No, that was good. <laughs> All right, Rachel. Who was the first series regular to die? Ooh. Vicky Donovan. Correct. <gasps> good that job. was good. I don't know if I would have thought of that. 
who would you have said i don't know but i was like who would be a series regular that died yeah because i, I know don't, you don't think of her as a regular because she's only no. in those first few but and i think even aunt jenna wasn't considered a series regular when she died i'm not sure if she was but the only time her name was yeah. in the credits were her last two episodes which is crazy that's ridiculous so yeah it's hard to know who counts as series uh, regular so good job on that one. yeah i'm going vicky all right back to sarah <laughs> do you say do you say i'm going to vicky and then she's like moving on yeah she already said you were right <laughs> yeah, i know i mean <laughs> <laughs> sorry to call you out no no anyway next question all right sarah what is Catherine's first appearance i'm looking for the scene what the scene specifically like in the i guess i should have worded that differently in the current day world what is her first oh, appearance well that's a different question because i was gonna say do you mean the photo that's shown I did in not... 101 do you mean the flashback that's shown in 106 all right or do you mean modern day catherine in 122 yes 122 <laughs> yeah. what, what is the scene sarah oh when she cuts off john's fingers I well, mean, no, no, when she kisses Damon. Yes. It's an extended scene. It's an extended, it's all one scene. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, I was looking for on the porch with Damon, but you said it, so that's fine. <laughs> okay. Got there in the end, you guys. got there, you got I listed there. 12 unnecessary answers before that, but I did get there. <laughs> okay, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> Question number four. What is the name of Damon's witch friend in Georgia? <laughs> Ooh, this is a thinker. I know this oh, one. Shit. Uh, Brie. Brie. Correct. Brie. <laughs> I was going to call her Brie Bennett, but she's not a Bennett. In my head canon, she is a Bennett. Yeah, they do that a that's, lot. That's how I got to it, though. I was like, I know it's B. Yeah. she's Bonnie Bennett, Bonnie Bennett. I was like, the alliteration. Yeah. But she's not even a Bennett. All right. Sarah, your fourth question is, how many tomb vampires are there, not including... Or actually, never mind. Not including. Never mind. Forget that. How many tomb vampires are there? What? We don't know the <laughs> number. The number is unknown. No, wait. They say how many people died in the church at the yeah. shooting. But what I meant to say was not including Catherine. Not including Catherine. She's not actually in it. Exactly. I'm trying to picture. I can think in 104 when they do the Founder's Day thing and Damon is telling Elena about the church and he says the Confederate soldiers fired on a church of like 20 some people. But how many 20 some? I want to say 20 two but i could definitely be wrong 22 that is incorrect oh i knew it would be wrong rachel this goes to you you can steal excluding Catherine, i think it's 25 close it was 26 that's oh i thought 26 was with Catherine. with Catherine. no i think it's 27 with Catherine. wow that's a hard one that's a hard one i'm bad at numbers i'm not gonna recall any numbers probably that was a hard one as we also got the years of 1920s wrong so. yeah oh that was a good question if it was guys, a good question if yeah. anyone listening got that right i'm impressed let yeah. us know in the comments let I us know i want to know all right rachel will keep it with you so okay. this is number five so this is i put this as the most difficult but oh we'll see it might not be I'm nervous might be Pardon the easiest the tombs? one how many tombs are vampires are now? <laughs> i thought that would be easier okay what episode does tyler kiss kelly donovan <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that's easy <laughs> <laughs> is it 118 under yeah. control yeah. correct Good okay job. okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> iconic episode i was just talking about how i love that episode tyler's been out of pocket since day one. Oh yeah season mm-hmm. one day one yeah born out of pocket yeah <laughs> true all right so this is the last question of season one category Ooh. so sarah mm-hmm. name one of the quiz questions that mr tanner asked stefan in friday night bites when was the fall of the berlin wall oh my god <laughs> correct I'm glad that wasn't me <laughs> i always hear that in my head when was the fall of the berlin wall um i don't remember what else he asks to be honest like when did vietnam no. start i think is another one he asks it's all year questions because he says keep it to the year um, yeah but berlin wall is when i always remember him asking well i can hmm. tell you what he asked he asked pearl harbor harbor <laughs> <Pearl Harbor. laughs> berlin wall civil rights act jfk assassination um, mlk lincoln roe v wade brown versus board battle of gettysburg korean war which is the one okay, that korean war is the other one i remember they got messed up on that stefan was actually correct yeah yeah that was the one i remember because i remember the dispute but i can very accurately in my head hear him asking the fall of the berlin wall mm-hmm. that's why i said that one forgot about coach tanner i was gonna say rip but i don't really care yeah no <laughs> he can rest in whatever yeah all right he cannot rest so with that 
you guys both got one the one question wrong the tomb vampires brutal yes that was hard but technically that means rachel got five for five and you got four for four because she wasn't able to steal it oh. or four for five i, I got four for five yes. me and alive all right are you guys ready for your next category season two Born this ready. is what you just covered uh, yeah these better be hard so if you don't yeah. get this it's gonna be really it's embarrassing. embarrassing yeah just all right watched this so, who started last round, Rachel? I started, yes. So, Sarah, so Sarah, you're gonna start. All right, question number one How does Luca die? Flamethrower via Damon Salvatore because he doesn't know what's going on and he just runs a flamethrower in the basement. Yep. That is correct. We've yeah. all seen it. We've all seen it. We all, all right. know it. We know about Astral Luca. <laughs> Astral <laughs> Luca, rip. All right, Rachel. How does Rose find Elijah in present day? Ooh. <laughs> this is the easy, second easiest question. How does Rose find Elijah in the present day? Like, what's her, through? yeah, what's her connection? Oh, Slater. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Correct. Yeah, I know. For a <laughs> second, I was like, what, she yeah. email? I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she added him on Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, Slater. All right. Okay. Sarah, back to you. Uh-huh. So five people die and the sun also rises. Who and in what order? Oh, my. This is like the level two. Okay. It's not hard. I just have to think about it. Um, in the sun also rises. That's the like sacrifice episode. Um, in what order? You said five people? Yeah. I can think of four. Who's? Oh, oh, I can think of them all. Number one, Jules. Mm-hmm. Number two, Jenna. Number three, Elena. Number four, Greta. Number five, Uncle John um yeah well actually doesn't greta go after can you repeat your no, they answer do again? the whole sacrifice they okay do... yeah yeah that's right they do jules jenna elena greta john yeah i was getting mixed up you're right <laughs> good job <laughs> i know <laughs> good job yeah that was good that was, that good. was a scary okay. question but when you actually think about it you're like oh i know this yeah. yeah 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 you guys got this yeah all right I almost called you Elena. <laughs> Thank you. I think we're getting some favoritism from the judges <laughs> to report some misconduct. Okay, Rachel. Mm-hmm. What is the name of the episode when Elijah first appears? Elijah Rose. Correct. I you were saying Elijah. He, got a, he never got a named episode. <laughs> they were, yeah, they robbed him. They he robbed him. One. He did deserve one. All right. Sarah, back to you. Mm -hmm. What episode does Tyler make his first wolf transition? Oh, boy. Those are in the dark ages of season two for me. Um, Yeah. It's somewhere in the middle there. It's not the sacrifice. It's the one right after. Do I have to say the name or the number? Either one. I'll take either. Because I'm pretty sure 11 is the sacrifice, and that's where Caroline and Tyler are scoping out where he should turn. So I think he turns in 12, which I think is called By the Light of the Moon. Is that right? Um, I'll give it to you because you got the name of it correct, but it's episode 11. Oh, oh I mixed up yeah. the numbers. I shouldn't have given two answers. I was just going to say. I feel like that that's fine. I'll take point. That's okay. Half point. Yeah, if you want to do a half point, that's fine. I did too much. All right. Rachel, you also get a wolf related question. Our okay, favorite. Okay. Are these All right. Favorite? What is the name of Jules' boyfriend? First of all, flag on the field who we don't even know what's her relationship to mason who knows why she wants tyler we don't know but i'm gonna go with brady that is correct yeah (laughs) they make out i wish sarah had this question she called him brody for half of the season (laughs) that's true i might have said brody but you would have known what i meant (laughs) but yeah brady and jules kiss yeah she's something's weird with her mason but yeah who knows with stevie too yeah who knows that girl who knows The real answer, no one knows. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sarah, back to you. Mm-hmm. How many episodes is Klaus in Alaric's body? We just talked about this earlier. Well, so yeah, we did just talk about this earlier, actually, as we always do. Of course. Um, it's like a two and a half sitch because he gets in there in 17 at the very end Um of know thy enemy he's in it for all of 18 which is the last dance and he's in it for all of 19 which is what's 19 called i don't know you don't need the name just the number so is like it two 19 and a klaus oh well, yeah klaus two and a partial yeah three it's a mm-hmm. three yeah okay. according to tbd yeah. wiki well, you said three episodes yeah, yeah three episodes um so yeah i'll give that to you 
Um, all right. <laughs> she sounded like she doubted if she should. <laughs> well, I don't know. Well, two in a He's not in the body for the whole episode. Let's be specific. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're getting a little too serious. Mm-hmm. All right, Rachel. All right. Who is the witch that puts the linking spell on Elena and Catherine? Wait. Oh, wait, what? I think that was supposed to be a season one question. No, that's no, that's season two. two. Wait, it's in the masquerade, and it's Lucy Bennett. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking for whatever reason that that was season one. That's season two. No, the masquerade. season two. Yeah, yeah. I like how we're correcting the question, and we're like, no, you're right. That yeah. happens in season two. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good job, Rachel. You got it. Thank you. All right. So this one gets a little tricky. This is the I hardest I'm doing the one. Tricky ones. Sarah. Mm-hmm. Which of the following characters? has the most guest appearances in season two. Oh, my God. So I'm going to list you three we characters. We just did a breakdown of... So, who has the most guest appearances? Uh-oh. Liz Forbes. No. Oh, my John God. John Gilbert. No. Or Carol Lockwood. You're joking. Oh, my God. You're evil. This is cruel. Not Carol. I feel like she's in, like, two, Ten seconds. three episodes. Yeah. John is also in, like, three or four, but I feel like Liz is in she's in some early ones she's in some mid ones and she's in some late season ones whereas carol i feel like is in like only a handful this is a pure guess like i have zero way of like measuring this i'm just gonna guess liz forbes that was close no rachel over to you john or carol i gotta go with john right Incorrect. So <gasps> shockingly, shockingly, it is Carol Lockwood. She has when you'll never guess how many episodes. Thirteen. What? Okay. As I was saying it, I was like, it could be her because she shows up in the background of stuff all the time. She's always like, okay. she's in like That's thirteen true. episode thirteen because of Damon's murder spree. She's just yeah. like handing out things at the memorial. Like she's always just kind of masquerade the, prep. She's at yeah plan B yeah. yeah. And a lot of the, yeah, the funeral she stuff. She gets in the less beginning context, but she's around. She's around more. Okay, well, it makes wow. me feel better that it was the last choice. Neither yeah. Even had, if anybody answered that right, wow, you should take the podcast from us. Because yeah, <laughs> honestly, that was hard. That was yeah. hard. I never. Dark Horse. Carol. Yeah, because wow. Liz also only had eight. So, big difference. How many did yeah. John have? I think it was eight or seven. I don't have it written down. Okay. I think it was seven. But Liz and John, when they're in an episode, have like a plot. Yeah. Which is yeah. why I think they'd have more. But yeah. Carol's often like truly just in the background She's being around. like a mayor. She's yeah. on the TV. Like, <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow. Last okay. one. That's hard. Uh-oh. This might be honestly the second hardest question of the entire game. So, Rachel, if you good. can get this, good for you. Okay. All right. What is Slater's password? Oh, Kristen Stewart. I just said oh. that today. <laughs> I told her today that it was Kristen Stewart. Okay. Kristen Stewart. Not me saying it's the second hardest question. You're getting it instantly. I literally said today. If you didn't say it, I don't know if I would have gotten it. So it probably was a good hard question, but karma's not working out well for me. I've been bullying producer Shay all day. (laughs) She is my sister. For those who do not know, yes. Okay. Well, that concludes our second category, season two. Category three, songs. So mm. I'm excited. I think I'll do good at. Songs. I think you'll yeah you'll do really well. I'm, I might eat my yeah. words, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll all see. Right. We'll see. Yeah, this bad is bad luck all day. Yeah. Plus, think those are probably our two easiest categories. We just one or two. I just got two wrong. <laughs> those are our easiest categories. It's only downhill from here. <laughs> Some of us got every question right, <laughs> except so. our questions that we got yeah, wrong. Except the steals, yeah, <laughs> because they were too hard. Okay, keep going. <laughs> okay, hopefully you'll get these. Yeah, songs. Okay, songs. All right. Who's first this so time? Rachel. Rachel's going yeah. first. So Rachel. This is easy. What song plays when Stefan and Elena first kiss? When they first kiss? Yeah. Uh, it's got to be, is it in the first episode? No. no. It's episode four? Two. Two. Night of the Comet, you guys. Anti-Stelena fans. Ooh. It's not looking good for old Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> the easiest question. <laughs> uh, running up that hill, like placebo. Oh no. <laughs> um, okay, so I don't, I don't might know. not yeah. know the name of the song. I think I know it because I know for sure it's a Sarah Bareilles song. And oh, I think it's Gravity. That is correct. It's Gravity. Yeah. Sarah gets the steal. Mm. I was a little confused because there's a lot of Sarah Bareilles songs in the first two seasons, but I was like, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's Gravity. Yes. 
All right. I'm making up known, ground. If I'd known Sarah, I would have known. But <laughs> All right. Steel. Sarah, okay. you get to answer the next one, too. Oh, yeah. This one is also easy. Okay, good. Hopefully. Rachel, you're Hey, gonna... some questions no. are supposed to be easy, but they're not. Okay. <laughs> Ease of answering is relative. <laughs> Producer Shay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will say it's easy because you guys talked about it an hour ago. Oh, okay. good. 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 <laughs> so, what song plays when Elena gets her memories back? Of Damon. Yeah. Twice. Yeah. My Little Dragon. Yeah. I love that song. It's a great song. I would have known it even if we hadn't just talked about it. We were just talking about it because we always talk about vampire songs. So. Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, that's, in a top, that's like a top 20. Yeah. I, I love that song. Yeah. But yeah, twice. I would have remembered even if we hadn't just talked about it. Same. Okay, Rachel, this is your redemption. Okay, good. You're going to love me for this question. Okay, good, good. What song is playing when Damon says... I can't be what other people want me to be, what she wants me to be. <laughs> it's got to be DLZ by TV on the radio. Of course. All right, Sarah, mm-hmm. what song is playing when John Gilbert dies for the first time? The first time? Oh, the first time is Brick by Boring, Brick by Paramore. Yes, we just well, listened to that. We yeah, literally we just, just listened, listened to it. it, yeah. As far as we know, that's the first time. Theoretically, it's the first on screen, I will specify. Yeah. I don't know. I guess that's true. But I, I would assume Stefan and Damon are the first vampires he's run into, so probably. Probably the first time. All right, Rachel. What song does Catherine dance to when she is trapped in a Lark's apartment? Ooh. Season two. Well, there's a couple, so that's a little bit of cheat. But the second one, probably. I'm going to go with the more memorable one, Get Some by yes. Likely, right? Yeah, that's, what, yeah. that's correct, yeah. Okay. I don't remember what the first one is, actually. There's another song, um, yeah. Was it Kids, MGMT? No, that's in the pilot. I, it was like a... Um, Helena Foster B. the People song. Yeah, or I think it was Helena like B. I think it was Helena B. Actually, it is. It is Helena B. But yeah. in that one, she's just kind of sitting there. She's moping not really around. dancing. Yeah. yeah, but get some. Get some is a full dance party. Get some. She's party. having get a some. dance party. Yeah. yeah. All right, Sarah. What song yes. plays in both the pilot and the season finale? Oh, um, I, I'm not well versed on the season finale. I've, the series finale. I mean. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Series um, finale. I'm debating, because the only two songs I can remember in the pilot is Never Say Never or Running Up That Hill. I don't feel like they replay Running Up That Hill, so I'm just going to say Never Say Never by The Fray. That is correct. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. yeah. I got a little nervous. I believe it's the only song to have played twice. In the whole in the series? One. I mean, I don't, don't quote me on that. I'm just guessing from what I've seen. I, they don't replay songs ever, yeah, so no. I would believe you on that. But and this is why I said in season one that I really wanted Never Say Never to be one of the best songs because it is so vampire. Yeah. That's, um, yeah. So. All right. So we're getting a little bit harder here. Rachel, in season eight, episode eight, titled We Have History Together. Oh, my God. The song Scars plays. Ooh. Which character in the show is the singer of that song? Oh, Scars? Yep. Is it Cat Graham? No. Michael Malarkey. Yes, correct. <laughs> A.K.A. Really? Enzo. They feature a lot of his music, Enzo. Yes. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. They, and they feature they feature Cat Graham in season one, and Candace obviously gets to sing a little bit here and there. Yeah. I only would know by process of elimination that it's got to be one of those three. And Michael yeah, uh, yeah, I was definitely sure it was... Maybe Cat, maybe Caroline, <laughs> Candace. Yeah. Forgot about Enzo. Forgot, yeah, I forgot. I guess I should have known season eight, but. Yeah. I don't remember the song, to be fair. No. I think I've made up my ground. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, Sarah's you, you did. Comeback. Yeah, you literally did. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. These songs are hard. <laughs> okay. Rachel. Again, this isn't a song, so a bit tough. Candace Wait. King. Isn't this Oh, it's Sarah? Me again. Oh, Sarah. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's Rachel. trying to give you Sorry. a question. Sarah. Should have let her do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the honor code is I, too yeah. strong. I totally would have forgot. All right, Sarah. Mm-hmm. Candace King, a.k.a. Mm-hmm. Caroline Forbes, uh-huh. married the lead singer of a band with some pretty iconic songs in the t- TVD series. What is the is band? a hard question. The Frey, who sing Never Say Never, but they're also divorced now, and she's dating yeah. the guy from the original. She's dating Josh, the vampire. Oh, <laughs> my God. The jump scare when I saw that on Instagram. Oh, my God. Steven Kruger, I think is his name. Yeah, I didn't know they had divorced when one of you, I don't know who it was, sent it in the group chat that she yeah. was with. Steven. The, yeah, Steven. Yeah. That was jump scare. Shocking. Yeah. I know. Wild. But, but yeah. yeah, they were. Were she with was the Frey. with the Frey, yeah. Previously. Mm-hmm. 
All right. This is the last two questions of the songs category. So now it's Rachel. Yes. I'm very nervous. So <laughs> I'm going to give you some song lyrics. Okay. You have to tell me what song it is. If you can't do that, just tell me the scene. Okay. Or the episode. Okay. All right. We watched the day go by. Stories of all we did. It made me think of you. It made me think of you. Oh, that's a hard one. Uh, I have no idea. I can't even hear it. Like what that? No. Do you yeah, want no. me to do it in the tune? Do a singing voice first. I guess. It made me think of you. Oh. That's not what I was imagining. That wasn't what I was imagining either. I don't know. Jeez, I'm gonna have like two one. points for this category. That's a hard one. Do we do a timer or something, Shay? Because you gotta just cut it I, off. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna get it, so you can just go to Sarah if you do have. Do you want a- the episode it's in? What are we supposed to be saying? The song name? The song, but if you can't get the song, then the like episode slash scene. Well, if episode slash scene is one of the answers, I say don't just give it. Guess. Do you have an answer, Sarah? Honestly, I don't have an answer. My, I think it's a like a female voice, like an Ingrid Michaelson type, but it's not Ingrid Michaelson. It's like one of those singer songwriter types, and it's like a Jeremy Bonney scene. That's my guess. It's actually well, it's an Elena scene. Okay, it's season five. Oh no, then nope, couldn't tell you. The artist also has an iconic iconic song in season two. Just tell us. It is Wings by Birdie. Okay, I thought it was oh, a birdie song, but I was like, I don't know any other it's, birdie songs other than okay. Skinny Love. It's after Damon and Bonnie go to the prison world, and Elena mm. thinks he's dead. Sad. Yeah. Yeah. I, the movie Real Life still was thinking season one and two are our only options. <laughs> I know. I keep thinking season one and two. <laughs> I, yeah. I'm forgetting other seasons exist. I know. We're living in a season one or two bubble right now. Definitely. So yep. that hurt me a little bit there. Because I was thinking it sounds like a birdie song, but mm, yeah, it no. was. Okay. All right. Well... This does not help because now we're back to season one. Oh, good. So, who is this, Sarah? Yeah. So, you're going to hate me for this question. Or love you. What song did the two of you pick for song of the episode for the pilot? (laughs) Oh, I know that. Yeah, I was going to say, she knows. Obviously, I know that. We picked Running Up That Hill by Placebo. That is correct. We did debate for a while because I wanted Never Say Never by the Gray. But, um... Running Up That Hill by Placebo was one of my most listened to songs on Spotify that year, yeah. which is funny. Yeah. So, okay, I love Running Up That Hill by Placebo, but Never Say Never by the Fray is so Man Paradise. I will always go with That's that fair. logic. That's fair. So, that was an easy one. Yeah. Yeah, that was way easier than the lyrics to <laughs> Wings by Birdie. <laughs> yeah, this is what happened to me in the season one and two categories. So, mm-hmm. All right. It's hard doing all of these by yourself. Okay. okay. We appreciate you, producer Shay. Thank we do. You. We do. For Thank now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see once the scores start to <laughs> tip one way or the other. Oh uh, yeah. I've, I've gained my lead back at least. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Songs is my best category, other than that. We'll see. The next category is quotes. I, I believe in you guys. I think okay. you can do it. But okay. the faces we're making make we it seem like we, we don't believe in ourselves. Yeah. I, we gotta try. We'll try. All right. So now we are starting with Sarah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Sarah. Mm-hmm. His quotes. What is the first thing Damon says to Elena? Oh. Cannon. Oh, okay. Well, yes. So that is a Cannon. trick question because you want me to say season one, episode two, when they first meet, quote unquote. But obviously we found out later in season three that they first met on the road. The first thing he says to her is, Catherine. That is correct. Nice. I had nice. to think about that for that a second, good. but that, that was, was really good. good. I knew you two would get that. Again, it's another, like, it scares you at first, and you're like, oh, I think actually, about it, actually, yeah. it's easy. I do know that. All right, Rachel, how many times does Damon say, hello, brother? Oh, that's hard. Yeah, this is number two. This is the number two easiest question. <laughs> these, these questions are not balanced. Oh, my God. I mean. Talk it through, talk it through. Well, obviously, the first is iconic. Uh-huh. I have to assume he says it again in, I think, the finale, the series finale. And then I feel like there's at least one other time that we've already seen. I feel like he probably said it. Although, I don't know. Elijah throw, had threw out, like, a hello, brother. And that could be confusing me. I'm going to go with four. 
Incorrect. I, uh, Ooh, I don't know. I can only Sarah. think of the two, the pilot and the finale. So part of me, it's like, say three, because there might be another one in there. But I'm just going to say two, because it's the only one I know. So two. That's correct. <gasps> Oof. Yeah. Oof. Pilot Again, the, oh, and the no. finale. Again, the overthinking will kill us. That's... That's how yeah. that question feels. Because I agree with your logic where I was like, eh, I might have said three just because like maybe there's another one in there. Yeah. Elijah does say or Elijah Klaus says, says it. it to, Elijah. One of them says it to each other. Elijah says it to Klaus. Cole yeah. says it to Klaus. And he yeah. Says Hello, to brother. Hello, brother. Yeah. <laughs> there are too many instances of it being said. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure Stefan must say it to Damon at some point, does, too. Maybe. But yeah, Damon is Stefan only the two, I guess. Hmm. All right. So, Sarah, you stole that one, so again, we're going to go back to you. Yep. So, when Stefan offers to exchange himself for Jenna to Klaus mm-hmm. in the ritual, mm-hmm. what is Klaus's response? Uh, well, he has many a response, but he says, um, I like the symmetry of three goddesses. Yeah, I'll Some give that to you. Lines. Exactly, it's, I don't know, I kind of like the symmetry of three women three goddesses yeah yeah but yeah that's good all right rachel fill in the blank all right i'm gonna give you the quote with the blank what kind of name is blank you're kind of the one that killed her oh (laughs) what's the name what kind of name is blank you're kind of the one that killed her it's two people yeah so someone says what kind of name is blank and then someone says you're, You're kind, kind of the, the one, one that, that killed, killed her. her. Correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What name is blank? I mean, I think it's Damon that kills someone and he asks that, right? Or no? Final it's answer? Silence. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Sarah, I think you know it. I do know it. It's when Stefan has his memory erased from Silas, and he's walking through the graveyard with Damon, and he says, what kind of name is Honoria? And Damon says, you're kind of the one that killed her. Yep. And we saw in season Honoria two, Honoria fell. Her. Yeah. He killed her back Rachel's in... not I'm not remembering this at he, all. He killed I'm her back in his all. Ripper days. I yeah, I remember him killing Honoria. I don't remember the scene. It's actually Silas? No, 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 it's, it's Stefan, Stefan, but he has his memory, like, erased. Oh, he has his memory wiped by Silas. Yeah, I think about that quote all the time. What kind of name is Honoria? I don't know why, I just do <laughs> no, think yeah. about that one all the time. I think it's so funny. All right, Sarah, back mm-hmm. to you again. So, who said this quote? Just because I talk a lot doesn't mean I always know what I'm talking about. Caroline Forbes. Yes. I think that was one of our best quote winners in season two um i it was at least mentioned i, I remember the quote it. in yeah. season two when she says it i can't remember if it's 216 um the house goes whatever that is the dinner party whatever it is yeah when she's performing on stage oh yeah is that it, sounds right yeah it might be then i don't remember <laughs> but it, yeah, yeah it's so caroline either way you can yeah guess, yeah even if you didn't remember it's so caroline it's so caroline all right rachel who said this quote why are jeans so tw- tight when phones are so big Oh, this has to be Kai. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that is correct. Yeah, I wouldn't have got that. That's really good. I would have been like, wow. Well, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, I was kind of nervous. I wasn't sure if you guys were going to get that, but. I would have yeah. got it wrong. Good job. That was good. All right. Sarah, back to you. Finish the quote. Uh-oh. He's your first love. I intend to be your last. Correct. I love Michelson. Correct. However long it takes. Oh, however long mm. it takes. Yeah. To Caroline. I love that quote. It's a good so one. Good. Mm-hmm. All right. Rachel, you finish the quote. If I hear doppelganger one more time. Oh, that's a bad place to cut it. I feel like I don't even know. Yeah, I have I have literally no idea. Do you know who says it? I know who says it. I don't know what. I don't think I even know who says it. Damon says it. I got nothing. I got nothing either. I don't know. Sarah, I'll you don't want to try to die. steal? I don't know. No. I'll die. That's my guess. I feel like, I was going to say, I feel like it should relate to it being a doppelganger or something. But I feel like I you know. have to give one word of the next sentence or something. Okay. If I hear doppelganger one more time, I'm going. I have no idea. Me either. I'm going to have to learn how to spell it. Oh, oh I should have known that <laughs> that's one. Funny. Yeah, that's good. Yep. Iconic. I knew that was Damon. I could hear Damon saying like, if I hear doppelganger one I more time, but I could yeah. not think of what the follow-up would be. No. That's funny. 
I still don't know how to spell it. I just always <laughs> rely on autocorrect. <laughs> yeah. I just get close enough. Yeah, yeah. All right. Now, these are technically the hardest, but we'll see. Uh-oh. This one might be kind of hard. Whose is it? Sarah's? Yeah, I guess me. Sarah, yeah. Okay. Sarah. Mm-hmm. Of the following three quotes, Uh-oh. which was not used as an episode title for season eight. Ooh, as a reminder, season eight, every episode title was a quote from season one. Oh, boy. So basically, which is not a quote from se- Or like, they're all quotes from season one. Yeah, which one's not an episode in season eight? Okay. Exactly. So. Oh, boy. Next time I hurt someone, it could be you. You won't be sad forever. Oh, Coming gosh. home was a mistake. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I feel confident the second one is one. You won't be sad forever. I feel pretty sure that is one. The other two? I don't know. Can you say them again? Next time I hurt someone, it could be you. And coming home was a mistake. I'm going to say next time I hurt someone, it could be you. Incorrect. Oh, no. Rachel, you can steal. Oh, I don't know. What are they? So the other two? You won't be sad forever. Coming home was a mistake. Ooh, I guess maybe coming home was a mistake. I don't know. Incorrect. <gasps> I stumped you guys. It won't be sad forever. Interesting. It, it sounds like it should be. It does sound like it should be an episode title. I was thinking the one you said was going to be my guess because I felt, thought it felt too long. Yeah, that's what mm-hmm. I thought too. Yeah. Yep. The other two are hard. episode titles. And I just went through memorable quotes from season one, picked one out. That was good. Yes. That Stephen was a pick. Should be a producer on TV. Yeah, that was a good pick. <laughs> so yeah, that is what Stefan says to Elena on season one. You won't be sad forever. Yeah, that's yeah. a good one. I know mm-hmm. that feels like it would fit with the season eight vibes. Yeah. yeah. All right, now this is the last one. Mm-hmm. This could either be really easy or really hard. Mm-hmm. So this is um, Rachel. Oh boy. <laughs> In season one. Okay. What does Damon call Edward Cullen? He says, that Edward guy is so... Oh. <laughs> Couldn't tell you. You know <laughs> it. You do know it. Picture him saying it. That Edward guy is so... I mean, I can picture the scene. He's like yeah. reading Twilight in Caroline's bed. Yeah, he's laying on the bed. Yeah, yeah. He's talking about how he's glittery or whatever. I don't know. Sarah, do you know it? Yeah. Rachel, do you want to give a final answer before we go to Sarah? I don't even have a final answer. I don't have a guess. All right, Sarah. That Edward guy is so whipped. What's so special about this Bella girl anyway? Yeah. I was only <laughs> I looking for I did not whipped. remember that. <laughs> I commented that on one of our TikToks recently. I was, when we were talking about how Resand and Damon are the same, I was like, <laughs> if Damon read Akatar, he would say Resand is so whipped for Feyre. So True yeah yeah accurate. so that was partially why i was able to yeah. recall it so fast all right our next category is villains so we're going to start with rachel so rachel who are the siren sisters in season eight? Oh, sybil and celine i think is her name Ooh. correct yeah i don't know correct. if i can remember celine that might have taken me a second yeah yeah right. sybil yeah easy but yeah all right sarah mm-hmm. what year was Catherine born born that's harder because I know 1492 is when she's changed. Oh, wait. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Well, here was she born as a vampire. I was like, 1492 minus 17. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's that's correct. Okay, 1492. She was tor- turned. Thank goodness. Yeah, yeah. I was like, somebody quick calculator. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Born requires some math for sure. Okay. Rachel, who was the first person we see Catherine kill present day? present day caroline correct good job nice yeah. almost john gilbert almost yeah <laughs> almost yes if she lucky it wasn't way. him yeah yeah all right sarah now we're going on to the michaelsons our favorite villains <sighs> my fave villain what is the age order of the five michaelson siblings just five. Oh, i get in fights with people about this on our comments all the time mm. well so of the living rebecca is the youngest mm-hmm. um henrik is younger than her um it goes i oh boy rebecca cole from youngest to yeah oldest. you're going backwards oh am i supposed to go oldest to youngest you can go either way but well oldest is finn then elijah then klaus then uh cole then rebecca yeah yeah that's right say that sounds right yeah yeah that's good 
All right. And Henrik is younger and Freya is older. <laughs> if we're yes. doing all seven. And then you can debate me on this if he's actually a villain, but he is to me. Who? <laughs> oh, boy. Rachel, what type of magic does Shane teach Bonnie? Oh, he's my evil. God. He's evil. Yeah. <laughs> Expression. Yes. Correct. Expression magic. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sarah, back to you. Uh-huh. Besides Lily, Salvatore, Ooh, how many boy. heretics are there? No. <laughs> Nora, Mary Louise, the quiet guy, the blonde guy, and Valerie. Five? Final answer? Five. Incorrect. Turn it. Who am I forgetting? Oh, I know who I'm forgetting. Rachel? I guess I'm going six. Correct. It is six. <laughs> it is six. Yeah, I forgot. I don't, there's no characteristics about this guy I could recall, but I do, I can picture him because they go yeah. hunt him down later. Because he's yeah. the one that leaves. He's the one that doesn't stay mm-hmm. with them. Yep. <laughs> that was so close. All right. Um, Rachel, back to you. Whose blood does Kai drink to become a vampire? Ooh, I don't know. Is it Joe's? I don't know. It's not Joe. I have no idea. I thought you were vampire blood, so I was thinking Lily Salvatore. No, sorry. Yeah, it is Lily to tra- to like turn, but um, whose blood does he drink to actually to complete tra- the mm. transition? I mean, it has to be at the wedding. Which, if it's not Joe. Elena? I don't know. No, it's his father. Oh, brutal. Oh. That man is twisted. Yeah, yep. Kai is twisted. He kills his father. That was hard. Very self mm-hmm. Stephen Salvatore of him. All right. True. Yeah. So, Sarah, this is you. So, who is the hunter trying to kill Stefan in season seven? Raina Cruz. Correct. Oh. <laughs> Raina Cruz, yeah. I, um, it's a memorable name. It is a memorable name, yeah. All right, Rachel. Who killed Cade? Arcadius, the devil. Ugh. He killed him when? The last time? Mm-hmm. Is it in the finale? No, that... Mm. Is it Damon? I have no idea. No. Catherine? No. I don't know. It's Stefan. Of course it is. Of course <laughs> it is. He daggers him with the bone dagger or whatever Sure. It was. The bone dagger. I don't remember. No, I don't remember that Season at all. It's a little fuzzy for me. Okay. This is the last question of the villains category. Okay. Rachel's? Um, or mine? Yours. Uh-oh. Sarah's. Okay. How many times was Sybil imprisoned in the armory? Oh, come on. <laughs> I know she is the one time and she was the first time, so two? Close. Okay. Rachel? Three? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> I love that for you. <laughs> to be fair, I was going to say two also. But yeah, because yeah. the first original time. Of course. And then they get her again. Yeah. When's the third? Bonnie. What do you mean, Bonnie? Don't they put her back? She gets out again somehow? She I don't remember. <laughs> Shay's like, I just know the But facts. I know all three of them were by Bennett Witches. So. No, of, course. of course. Makes sense. Were. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> that was hard. Those were hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about the villains category. No, yeah, it was fun, though. Yeah, it was, it was fun. good. It was good. Um, Just but the next, biases. The next category is lore, and I think Ooh, that's I'm pretty fun. I'm scared. I'm scared, It though. could be good. It could so be bad. This is all mythical oh, creatures. Not creatures, necessarily, but mythical lore related to Vampire Diaries. Okay. So, number one, who is starting? I think Sarah. I don't know. You tell us. Yeah, you just went. So, Sarah, it's your turn. Okay. What type of witch can become a vampire hybrid? A, uh, what are they called? They suck the magic out of things. What are they called? A, um, oh my gosh, siphoner. Okay. Sarah, you get that. You said siphoners. Rachel, who first introduced the white oak steak? Well... The actual steak or the daggers with ash? Not the daggers, the steak. The I steak? The person who makes the actual permanent one? No, the the first white oak steak we see in the show. Who is the one that introduces it? Oh, God. That's a weird question. Michael? Correct, yeah. Okay. What? Yeah, he's the one that tells oh, him about it. Oh, he has the one old one? He's the one that yeah. kept yes, it with him for like a thousand years. he comes to homecoming with the really yeah. old one. Yeah. Okay, I thought you were trying to get at Esther, but she just makes one based on the ones that they cut from Wickery Bridge. So I was like, who introduces the Wickery Bridge ones? I don't know. Well, that's Damon. 
Yeah. Well, yeah, and but co. like, yeah, and co, and it's not like he introduces yeah. it. So I was like, this is a weird way to phrase it. But I get what you're saying. Michael does bring the really old one. Mm-hmm. Tricky, tricky. I would have got that wrong. But you got it. Good job, Rachel. Thank you. But Thank Rachel you. got it. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> okay, Sarah. Mm-hmm. Name all doppelgangers. Oh, so okay. what the heck? Okay, Stephanie all, and Elena. Yeah, you can both. get it. You can get it. Okay, Silas, Tom, and Stefan. Yes. I think we only know the three. What about George? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just making one up. Like, you don't remember <laughs> George the third of. <laughs> um, okay, okay. On the girls' side, obviously Elena, Catherine, Tatia, and Amara. That's correct. Yeah, that's okay. all of them. All seven. Just a lot of them. Yeah. And George. They yeah. All right. <laughs> Random one. Rachel, who is the oldest character of all time in TVD? What does that mean? Whoa. Like, okay. been alive for the longest years. Consistently? Consistently? Well, born. Born? What is that The longest mean? time ago. I mean, part of me thinks it's got to be, like, Silas, Ketsia, Amara, that era? Is there any, well, I guess some of the season eight, like, Cade probably has existed since beginning of time, if he's, that's like, my, hell. That's my guess. Final answer? I, I guess Cade. I don't know. That's correct. You okay, know, okay, okay yeah. <laughs> I love the doubt of, like, I don't know. I've got no clue. Okay, I'm right. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. My yeah. guess was also Cade. I was, like, who else could yeah. be older than the devil himself? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So old, don't even know when he when he was born. Makes sense. Okay. Makes sense. All right. Living is also uh, questionable, but yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, Sarah. Okay. What is the name of the society that experimented on vampires? The Augustine. Yeah. The Augustine. I think it's just, I think called, it's just Augustine. called Augustine. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say I know there's Augustine vampires, but like, did they have an official the Augustine Society of Super Weird Scientists? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, I think it's just Augustine. Yeah, I think okay, it's just okay. Augustine. Augustine. Augustine's. Right. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you got that because the next question, Rachel, is how many known Augustine vampires are there? Ooh. Oh, my God. At what time? Ever? No. I mean. How many do we see on screen? You see them all on screen. What? Because there's not a lot. Okay. Well, Damon and Enzo. The... Uh, I can't remember his name, his but name. Caroline's friend, yeah. love interest, whatever, him. And I guess they take Elena for a minute. They have her and they test on her. So I guess four. That, is that your final answer? Well, the way you're saying that makes me think no. Maybe there's a fifth one that I'm not thinking of. So I guess... Well, this is a hard question because Catherine works with that one doctor for a hot minute. She experiments on him. He experiments on her. Whatever, whatever. I don't even know. I'm going to go with five, I guess, because you seem to think four was wrong. Good choice because it is five. Oh, I thought it was three. I thought, like, you had to have specific criteria. So I thought it was only Damon Enzo and the one guy. Jesse? Is his name Jesse? Yeah, Jesse. No, um, I guess if you, like, get the serum injected in yeah, you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Elena gets the serum? Yeah. And oh. she's like, Damon, they give the serum. Oh, wait, but that's still one person. I don't know. And then the last person, his name's Joey. There's a picture of him, so oh, he's on screen. Oh, Enzo's, but- like, friend, like, in the oh, flashbacks. Oh, yeah, yeah. But he dies pretty quickly. I he think. dies, like, oh. right before Damon gets there, I think. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, only five. Good job. I would have been, like, yeah, That was job. hard. I would have been, like, only Damon, Enzo, and that one guy. Yeah. yeah. All right. Sarah. How is the indestructible white oak steak made indestructible? Oh, okay, Esther. What I was trying to answer. Esther, before. but how? What did okay, she do? Okay, give me a sec. She melts the Gilbert rings in like a pot and she has mm. a lark standing there and she like lets it drip down the thing. And she's like, the indestructible weapon. <laughs> that is more than I was asking for, but yes. <laughs> yeah. I was just asking for I'm she, so excited for season three. <laughs> me too. Yeah, all I wanted was she binds it with the Gilbert ring. That's it. There you go. But you got it. Okay. No one's ever said I'm not thorough. Rachel, name the four people who took the cure. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. 
Oh, well, this is easy. Yeah. Catherine gets it first. Then Elena gets it, and Stefan gets it after he kills someone. I won't say, I guess. <laughs> and then Damon gets it. Yeah. Yes, that is correct. Good job. What a, like, a quartet there. Yeah. yeah. The job. core four, for yeah, real. Yeah, that is the core four. That is, yeah. All right, Sarah. Mm-hmm. How is the magic purification spell gotten rid of in Mystic Falls? Oh, gosh. Oh, Kai oh. siphons it. Kai siphons it? Correct. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Be more Don't confident. Don't it. Yeah, I know. That's what I keep trying yeah. to tell myself. I'm like, because I can see you doing it sometimes where I see your thought process and I'm like, she's overthinking it. And then you'll say this, this, right thing. But yeah, I'm overthinking yeah. it. But Kai. Yes. Woo-hoo. All right, Rachel, this is the last question of the category. Mm. This might be tricky. Okay. How many times did the merge occur? That is the Gemini Coven merge. Oh. Oh, like that we see? Yeah, yeah, yeah that we see. Well, that we see, see. Well, Luke and Liv try to merge. Yes. Or, or no, Luke and Kai. Sorry, Luke and Kai. And then... Does Joe try to merge with Kai? I don't remember if she does or not. You guys look to um, me as if I'm going to like tell you. Yeah. <laughs> I it guess in. I'm going to go with twice. It, I guess I'm going to go with three times. No, incorrect. I mean. <laughs> Sarah. I think it's just the once. Just Kai and Luke. Incorrect. What? Who it's actually merges? four. Who? So Who? the first one we see... His Joe and Kai. That's how he first gets into the they prison world. They don't do it, though. They, they don't, don't do, do it. it. But that they... doesn't count. They don't do it. Okay. Well. Okay, keep reading. Okay, okay, the next one, one, Liv and Luke. But that one also does not complete. They begin to do it. I think we need I to think it should be the judges. completed. Okay. All right, you guys. I think the is completed. But what was the third, then? Well, Luke and Luke Kai. And Kai and Luke and fourth? Kai. Why did I write Joe and Kai? Did they do it a second time? I think, again, they try and it I think they or do it and try I, to complete it. I guess nobody gets any points. We yeah. don't remember any of these <laughs> merges. Any, no, 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 yeah, no. I feel it should have been one. If you're a listener and you said one, you get a point. But we don't, so yeah, whatever. Yeah. It's fine. All right. Next question. So, actually, next category. Next category mm. is characters. Oh. So these are all, who's this? Who's that? Uh-oh. Character related. Okay. So... Number one, I can't remember who we started. I'm bad with. at names, so this is this scary. Could be, for yeah, me. this could be hard. Sarah or Rachel went, so Rachel, you start. Okay. All right. Which characters? Wait, I have, thought Rachel just got the merge one wrong, so now it's me. She got it wrong first, right? Yeah. Yeah, and that means she goes again the next round. She starts. Oh. That's how it's been. I thought going. we alternate. What? Do whatever you've been doing. <laughs> yeah. So it's Rachel. All right. Which characters have been in every episode? There's 171 episodes. <laughs> you say 171 characters. Oh, <laughs> all 171 in alphabetical order. Go. They have an appearance in every single episode. Every single episode. How many characters? Two. I think it's got to be Paul and Ian. That's my guess, Correct. too. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. They're the only be. ones that have been in every single one. Yeah. Yeah, we know it wasn't Cat Graham. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, God, no. Okay um sarah this one is you and you basically already said this earlier i love that for me yeah so there are seven michaelson children two of them henrik and freya yeah <laughs> i don't even have to finish <laughs> what was them. the whole question yeah i mean it was that like what are the other two siblings besides the main five okay good but yes love freya love originals freya. Love gotta freya. watch originals if you haven't i wish we ever got to new henrik but yeah all right back to rachel who created the immortality spell? So that is what Silas and Amara get. Oh. Ketsia? Correct. Okay, yeah. I would also accept Tessa. That is her modern name. Oh, yeah, name. her I modern name. <laughs> yeah, she's yeah, she's funny for that. All right, Sarah. She's funny for a lot of things. <laughs> True. <laughs> Sarah, mm-hmm. what is the occupation of April Young's father? Preacher. Correct. Easy. And he burns down his parish, basically. Way to All go. Right. <laughs> Rachel, who is Peter Maxwell? 
Oh, Matt's real father. Correct. Oh, I good job. Ringer of the bell. Yes. Ringer <laughs> of the bell. <laughs> I could yeah, I could not ring the bell and remember who that was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Glad that wasn't me. Okay, Sarah. Mm-hmm. Who is Rudy Hopkins? Bonnie's dad. Correct. <laughs> Ooh, that was good. Yeah. I was hoping I don't you guys think I would have known that rang a big bell that was way off yeah. in the distance and I took yeah. a guess. Mayor Hopkins. Yeah. All right. Rachel. Stefan and Damon have one living living relative had Sarah Salvatore. But what last name does she actually go by? Ooh, that's hard. Ooh, Sarah Salvatore. So I feel like Sarah Salvatore. I'm just like, yeah, it's such a good name. Rolls uh, off the tongue. I, I no don't think I'm gonna get it. Yeah, no, Sarah. Shot in the dark. I mean, there's so many possible last names. I how could I take a shot in the dark even? Sarah Giuseppe is my guess. <laughs> Giuseppe <laughs> to honor her ancestors. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I don't even have one idea. Sarah, Sarah Giuseppe. Okay. Yeah. No. It is Nelson. Sarah oh, Nelson. I vaguely I would never remember that. that. Yeah, I'd never no. get that, but I do vaguely remember that now that you said it. All right. What about this last name, Sarah? The militia leader, Trip Cook, does no. not go by his real last name. What is his real last name? I want to make a bad joke, but I'm not going to. Um... <laughs> I don't know. Trip Fell? Isn't he like a founding family member or something? I'm going to say Fell. Correct. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah, he's a Fell. Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool, I cool. can't remember his... I think his first name is also different. I can't remember what it was, though. It's the only reason it makes sense to change your name like that. Yeah. In a small mm-hmm. town like you that. You don't want to be associated. Yeah, I don't want all the privileges of being a founding yeah. family member, aka getting killed by Stephen Salvatore. Yeah. All right. Rachel. I purposely... Well, not purposely, but it lined up perfectly. So Rachel gets this one. Oh. Because Sarah would, I know she would get this one. Oh. Rachel, who is the intern at the armory? Why would I get this one? Legacies. Oh, I do know, because legacies. That's the only reason I would know, though. This is really hard. The intern. I feel like I can sort of picture, I think it's a woman. Nope, it's a man. Okay, then I obviously have no idea. <laughs> I feel I should not get a point as a steal because that's not fair. Yeah. Because they're a main character in Legacies. Uh, so I don't yeah. want the steal point. Okay. But I think it's Dorian. It is Dorian. His name is Dorian Will- Williams. He's a young guy in his 20s. He tries to kill Stefan because he killed his whole family. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay, that plot kind of rings a bell. Yeah, but I don't yeah. want the point because, again, Legacies, like, he's a main character in Legacies. So and that's... you're placating me, so. No, but that's, like, <laughs> that's definitely, like, a huge bias in remembering him. Like, that's a very yeah. easy question. I, I do remember have, that plot with Stefan, but... I wouldn't have remembered his name if he wasn't a main character in Legacy. Yeah. So I don't want the point there, but... All right. This is the last question hard. of the characters category. So, Sarah. Okay. What is the name of Matt's fiance that he accidentally no. kills? Jeez. Uh, Rebecca... <laughs> Rebecca. Oh, wait, Stop. Stop. There's already a Rebecca. Let me guess again. With. Let me guess again. Let me guess again. I was going to say Jessica, but Damon kills a Jessica. And there's a Meredith right, already. It's a basic woman. Brittany. No. Okay. Rachel, you want to try? Uh, it's a basic woman it name. It is. Yeah. Uh, but they've already got so many. Rebecca. I, know. I said it not even remembering there wasn't a Rebecca already. Mm, Rachel, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I, I have no, I don't know. No, and actually, fun fact: there's not a single Rachel in the show, but there's two Sarahs. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. That's messed up. <laughs> yeah. All right. The name is Penny. Penny. Oh. Mm-hmm. I never. I, I wouldn't have gotten that. No, no, no. All right. So this is our second to last category. Oof. So miscellaneous. So this is a little bit of everything. I'm scared. We're starting with Sarah. Okay. Where does Miss Mystic Falls take place? What do you mean? What's, like, what building? The Founders <laughs> Hall? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I we debated it, for a long time about what that place yeah, was. Yeah, we did. That, yeah, that's why I threw it in, because I was 
The second one's at the Lockwood Mansion, though. Yeah, maybe you would think it's the Lockwood House. The second one is at the Lockwood, so technically if I said that, I would still be right. You didn't clarify. Okay. (laughs) Rachel. (laughs) Who are the five founding families? Ooh, that's that's a good one. The Fells, the Gilberts, the Forbes, the Salvatores, and... Oh, boy. You got this. Uh, Fifth one. Uh, Fells, Gilberts, Salvatores. You got farther than I would have to. Bend oh, up. Lockwoods. Duh. Of course. Oh, yeah. Duh. Duh. <laughs> yeah. They're not members. They're the ruling class. Let's be real. They really are. Yeah. They're really a tier above everyone else. I honestly else. wasn't even going to remember Salvatore. So you did way better than me. Because I that, definitely yeah. am like, I would have been like the Gilberts and the Fells. That's all we got. Yeah. That was hard. All right. Um, Sarah. Uh-huh. Name the five people who kill Jeremy. He has no. five deaths. Who kills him? <laughs> Damon, Liz. That's as far as we are so far. Yep. So who else? Well, so Catherine sort of via Silas. It's kind of a mm-hmm. joint effort, so I'm assuming you're just counting that as like one. Um, when else does he die? Two other times. I don't remember any of his other deaths. Oh, no. Um... I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to take a shot in the dark, I guess, since I don't know. I'm going to say Damon again <laughs> for funsies. And uh, Bonnie, because she stops his heart. That's almost correct. It's it, not Damon. Damon's time, once. Right. So, Rachel, if you can get the other person, it's the fourth to last time he dies, basically. Fourth to last? Like, so, does it go Damon? Liz, Bonnie stops his heart, somebody else, and then the Silas one. Correct. So oh. you have to figure out so who that is. second to last. Yeah. yeah. So who's that? Between. I can't remember that death at all. Hmm. I mean, it's definitely something supernatural. It obviously comes back with the ring. Or uh, is it from. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Mm, no, because. Klaus doesn't like hit him with the car. A lot of <laughs> That's a funny thing to say. Klaus just hits Jeremy with a car. I feel like maybe an original kills him or something. Maybe not. It's so hard because once he becomes a hunter, nobody wants to touch him. So yeah. it's hard to remember what could that other one be. I don't know. I may. Ugh. I'm gonna go with. Shot in the dark, Tyler. I don't know. No, I don't know. So it was actually Elena because I can't remember who she was trying to kill, but she tried to kill someone, and they moved out of the way, and Jeremy was right behind them, and she stabbed Jeremy in the neck. To him. Yeah, that's always happening to him. Yeah, but I feel like I va- is it when she's hallucinating or something from killing Connor. I don't remember. I think it might is. have been then because I think it was Connor that she was trying to kill, and it ended up being jeremy that's crazy hmm. i do not remember that death at all i mean he came back he, he had the back, ring so he comes at, back, at what yeah. point it just doesn't matter because you just don't True. remember that's a hard one all right um who just answered that me so okay rachel. so rachel um in season one when bonnie touches elena's hand what does she see what vision vision does she have there's three things three three yeah I mean, it's like three notable things. I know the one thing. From touching Elena? Yeah. Kind of like the bottle in her hand. Yeah, I know the one thing. The bottle in her hand? I don't even yeah, know what you're talking about. the party about. in the pilot. Yeah. The party. Doesn't she see like death or cold or whatever? That's when she touches Stefan. Oh, I thought she what? also That's sees that. That's what I saw. Or that's what I thought Yeah, it was. I thought that was... Oh, it's about Stefan, but... I guess, yeah, that must be when Bonnie touches Stefan. I have no idea. Is it idea. when she's joking? It's like a joke answer. No. Oh, I don't know then. No, I, I mean, have no idea. if you both don't know, I'll just give it to you. It's like fog, a crow, and a man walking. Oh, I forgot about that one. Yeah, I don't... I definitely was thinking the death and cold as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's a hard one. That's a good one, though. It was a, yeah, that was a good one. All right. Next one. Sarah. What decade was Damon in captivity and the, for how long? 
Oof. Well, it was the 50s. Mm-hmm. Uh, for how long? I don't know the exact number. I feel like it was a long time, nine or ten years. Uh, I'm going to say nine. Incorrect. I know. It's going to be... I think it's five years. Correct. Oh, yeah. I thought it was a I lot longer I thought it was like that. 83 to 88 years. Or, or sorry, 53 to 58, not Yeah, 80. that's actually uh, exactly what it is. Rachel knows her name. <laughs> Rachel just needs a whole Damon category. Yeah. Give me a Damon <laughs> category. <laughs> give me some easy ones. Yeah. I'll give yeah. you each half point for that since you got both of them. Half of them each. Oh, I said the year. Wait, mm-hmm. what did I you say? You said the, the decade. decade. You said 50s, yeah. yeah. Okay. I was like, I don't think I got anything. <laughs> All right. Which of the following, Sarah, or Rachel, yeah, Rachel, mm-hmm. which of the following is not an event celebrated in Mystic Falls? <laughs> oh, my Every God. Night, night of the Comet. <laughs> Definitely celebrated. Night of Remembrance. Night of Illumination. I think I'm going to go with Night of Illumination. I guess it's Night of Remembrance, though, because I see Sarah's face. <laughs> so I guess... The Night of Remembrance. <laughs> That's correct. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I fear I Sarah gave that away, but I did. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I vividly what is the, the night, night of Illumination? It's when they're supposed to do like the Chinese lanterns. And yeah. Then oh, it gets that's what that's called. Yeah, and then they get. Then canceled, they do it in the. And they do yeah. it for a lark by themselves. Yeah. Always yeah. okay. oh, a night of something. So, uh, many nights. Yeah. So many nights. Night of Remembrance was good. I was like, that's got to be something. Yeah. It was so in fact, I was thinking that could be the lantern one. Oh. That yeah, sounds I, right. That's kind of where I got it. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right, Sarah. Mm-hmm. What movie character does Kai call Caroline? Oh, no. What? Who would he call her? Movie character? Mm-hmm. Mm, it would be something 90s because it's him. I don't remember what it is. The only thing that comes to mind is like Pamela Anderson or something. But it's not a movie <laughs> character. What would he call her? All I want to say is Malibu Barbie. I don't know. Incorrect. Yeah, Rachel, do you have a guess? Character for Caroline? I have Yeah, I don't know. I was thinking. Oh, wait, I have another guess. You can go. Sarah Connor? No. Darn it. I don't know what he would call her. He would call her Clarice from Silence of the Lambs. Oh. He goes, oh. hello, Clarice. Yeah, Clarice. that's so silly goofy mm. of him. Yeah. Because that was when he was trapped in the armory. Yeah, of course Kai would just do something self wrench Yeah. Like the fact that he's a psycho rather than actually... Something to do with Caroline yeah. being a blonde. Should have thought more horror movie vibes, less yeah. 90s. Yeah. yeah. Knowing him, his well, 90s favorite horror movie, movie is yeah. probably Silence of the Lambs. It probably was the last movie he got to see before he was locked up. <laughs> okay. So, also, Kai. Who just Love answered that? Uh, I got it wrong, and then Rachel got it wrong. Yeah. So, Rachel. So, Rachel. What is the word that Kai fills in the crossword? Making Bonnie and Damon realize they're not alone. Oh no! Yellow need- blood better. Yeah. <gasps> wow. Okay. I, was, I was just about to say, if you need a hint, it's the title of the episode. Oh, if yeah. you told me the hint, I would have gotten it, but yeah. I wouldn't have gotten that. That otherwise. is the word. Iconic. Yeah, <laughs> that's iconic to me. Yeah. All right. Well, I would never would have gotten that. So now these are the last two questions of the category, the hardest ones. Great, as if it hasn't already been that. It's hard. been pretty hard. Yeah. Next one. What category Sarah. even was this? This is. Miss- Miss, yeah, miscellaneous. Oh, no Sarah, it's hard. What state is the house that Enzo and Bonnie move into? What state? Yeah, New York. It's, correct. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I thought yeah. it was like a cabin upstate, but yeah, we're from New York, so sometimes I'm like, am Can't I just biased? That. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, nope. Bonnie gets a little B and B. So cute. Hope I know. For her. Okay, Rachel. Two of the actors from the show have directed a total of eight episodes. Which actors? Oh my god. Oh boy. I don't know. I mean, maybe Paul has directed eight? Two. I think no, there's two. two. And like a total of eight combined. Oh, a total of eight combined. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking eight per. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was going to say, that makes more sense. I was like, eight seems like a lot. Okay. I think Paul for one. And then maybe Nina for the other one. I don't know. You have Paul. So okay. I'll give you a half point. Yeah. I don't think Nina ever directed. I think it's Ian and Paul. They both directed. Correct. You each get half a point. 
I think Ian and Paul were the only actors that ended up directing it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they were the only two. I don't remember yeah. anybody else. Yeah, out of the like for like the show episodes. Yeah, yeah. they're the only Although two. a lot of them have moved on to acting uh, or directing, like Tyler, mm. uh, blanking on his name, Michael Trevino. Um, I didn't know that. He directs like Roswell and stuff. So mm, it's it's fun. the it's the journey of an actor yeah. a lot of times to become yeah. a director. Yeah. So Paul directed five. Ian directed three. Oh, mm. very nice. All right. So that was the miscellaneous. And this is the fun one. This is the one I've been waiting for. The oh, listeners the listen- yeah. submitted I'm so questions. Curious. I feel like you guys are going to give us hard questions. Yeah, so. this isn't going well for me. And I do have the <laughs> username, so you guys will get a shout out if oh. you did submit a question. Mm. I tried to pick as many as I could. And again, they're in order of easiest to hardest. So, and I kind of changed the answers a little bit, or the questions, because some of them were worded a little bit weird, so I had to change it to fit you two. Okay. So the first one. Makes sense. Is from Chell X O O X. For who? Is for Sarah. I I, yeah, I think I started oh, okay. Sarah. Um, when did Elena fall in love with the Damon? When she said that she fell in love with him, season three, episode one, when he gives her back the necklace. Correct. We're about to get yeah. there. The this user, the listener, they actually asked like how old she was. Eighteen. It, it was her eighteenth birthday. birthday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I, I, w- I knew you guys would get that, so I wanted to be a little more specific. Yeah. It's hard because we've debated it. I think she fell in love with him sooner. But I she, do too, yeah. She yeah. does claim it was season three, episode one. All right. This next one, Rachel, is from My Sweet Darling 7. What actors have dated outside of the show? You can just give me like oh, three. Oh, there's so many. Yeah, there's oh, so yeah, many, so just give me lot. three. Three couples. Um, three couples? Or- yeah. Okay. Well, Nina and Ian. Yep. Classic. Um... I feel like Nina dated a couple people, didn't she? she? <laughs> yeah, didn't she also date Kai, his actor? Oh, yeah, I'm, yep. I'm Chris forgetting. Wood. Yeah, Chris, Chris Wood. Wood, thank you. And Are you just going to do all Nina? Put her on the I last? I could, yeah, I guess I could. I feel like hers are the ones that are most memorable to me. Um, I'm trying to think of a not Nina one. Oh, oh, I got one. Uh, Paul and tori devito yes oh yeah yeah one. yeah they, they were, were married Meredith fell yeah I yeah they said, yeah they were married that's yeah. true yeah, yeah. i thought you were gonna say paul and phoebe yep oh they also dated. that's such a good one i, I should have like said that, that. Yeah. yeah yeah my favorite couple though is klaus and bonnie's mom oh, oh yeah. they're like yeah. together and they're yeah. still together yeah they're, they're like still going strong real. i thought you were gonna say Klaus, Joseph Morgan, and Claire Hole, who plays Rebecca. Oh, yeah, they yeah, that dated, is weird. Which I didn't know weird. that. Yeah. Oh, my. If you're playing siblings, you can't date. I'm sorry. No. It's illegal. Sorry. No, it's no. illegal now. Yeah, it should be. All right. Wow. That was a good question. That was a fun one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Sarah, this is back to you. Mm-hmm. And this question is from Lucy underscore Nevin 96. She had some great questions. The first one, what year was Catherine's daughter, Nadia, born? Oh, boy. Well, Catherine was turning 1492. Do we think she was born the same year? It was three years before. I don't know. Um, I'll say 1491. It's close. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Rachel, steal it. Well, uh, I mean, part of me thinks it could be like 1490. Yeah, that's true. How I long also, does it take to get to Bulgaria, to England? Yeah. In the 1400s. Yeah, and I don't think she meets Klaus immediately. I'm gonna go with 1490. Correct. Okay. Good Whoa, job. That's okay. what I was thinking. I don't. I think she's. Yeah. It seems drastic to give birth That's, and then turn into a vampire same year. Same day. Yeah. All right. Next one, Sarah. All oh, right. Now was she like 15 when she gave birth? Then how old was she? She's young. I think yeah, she's she like, must have been. She's like young. 15 or 16. Yeah. Poor girl. Man. Yeah. All right. So Rachel, this is you. This question is from Madison W L X. What is the date of Kai's Prison World? Ooh. The first one? Yeah, the first I assume. Yeah. May 10, 1994. Oh. <laughs> awesome. I was like, if you can't get the date, that's fine. The month. Just I knew the year. The year. But, I didn't oh, know yeah, the no. date. That's May good. 10. That's good. It's coming up. Good job. It's coming up, actually. I knew the year, not the date. So that was yeah. impressive. All right. Sarah. Yeah. This is also from Lucy Nevin, 96. We love you, Lucy. Yeah. I love Lucy. I love Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. What is the first line of the show? You know uh, this. Oh, Stefan's like monologue with mm-hmm. the, the fog. Um, for over a century, I've lived in secret <laughs> until now. Yeah. I know well, the risk, but well, I that's think the, in the first one. Yeah, that's a short one. I think in the first one, he says like, uh, um, 
I'm a vampire. Blah blah blah. But yeah, yeah for over a century I've lived in. Yeah, Syria. that's good. It's hiding in the shadows, alone in the world. Until now, I am a vampire, and this is my story. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> he's so drama. He's so drama. I love him for that. All right. <laughs> also a good question. All these are great. Yeah. Next one. This question is from Han Thelen. Um, Rachel, what is the last line of the show? Oh. The last line of the show. Oh, boy. I think I know it. I feel like I should know it. Um, I, pu- I kind of want to say hello, brother, because I feel like it's, yeah, it's like. Yeah. Nice little full circle moment. Hello, brother. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Again, overthinking it, I Iconic. think. Iconic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is from Paige Herbest. Herbst. I don't know how you say it. Um, now, this one, I thought she meant a different question, but when I went over it, I realized she meant something else, but okay. I already included oh, the yeah. other question that she already, I think she meant to say. Yeah. So this question I'm about to say is like what I don't think she meant to say. Okay. But I still okay. let's just ask you. Let's okay. just ask you. So, what three numbers does Bonnie see in her vision in season oh, one? No. Oh, there's a 15 in there and there's a 22. Uh, but the first one is like 39. No. Oh, Ma- I told you I'm bad at numbers. <laughs> um, this one's hard. 15, 22 is in there. Uh, Man, I feel like the first number is on the building. So could it really be building 39? That just doesn't make sense. I'm just going to say 39, 15, 22. You got 22. What? The other two are wrong. What? Rachel, do you want to give it a shot? Yeah, I'm going to go 14. And I think three might be the other one. You got 14. The other one is eight. Eight. What the okay. heck? Eight, 14, 22. Okay. Eight, so we each get yeah. a third of a point, yeah. I guess. <laughs> we'll figure it out. But yeah, yeah, I thought they meant to say like the numbers, but I mm-hmm. think they actually meant like when she touches, when Bonnie touches Elena's hand, but I already asked oh. that. Oh, okay. Okay. So don't worry, Paige, you're covered. All right. I'm next so question. numbers. That was, that was a hard one. Me. Next question is also from Lucy Nevin. All right. Who destroyed Reyna's Phoenix sword? No. Wait, whose question is this? Me? Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> <or> <laughs> whoever gets there first. Yeah, um, honestly, whoever Rachel, gets there first. Rachel, yeah, it's you. Who oh. destroys the Phoenix Sword? Oh, God. It's hard. I know, we were just talking about the Phoenix we Sword the other day, how about, we yeah. don't remember what the sword is. or We were reading the wiki page, like, what is the sword? <laughs> were you guys cheating? No, this was no, like no, a week no. ago. This was, this was a little while ago, yeah. We just talk Maybe. about memory all the time. Yeah, we really do. Uh, I'm just going to throw a random one out there. Maybe Stefan? Incorrect. I was kind of thinking Stefan. Incorrect. Incorrect. My other guess is that one heretic guy, the blonde evil one, but I don't remember his name. Yeah. It's like Lucian or something. Lucian. Incorrect, but you are close. I was it is thinking Lil. Nora and Louise. Oh. Mary Louise. Okay. I knew it was a heretic because they're the ones that hate yeah. the sword. Yep. That was hard. That was a yeah. really hard one. Good question, Lucy. All right. So the last two. These ones are pretty tricky. You might get the first one, but the last one is tricky. Great. So this one is from Lewis Bergen. Sarah, this question is for you. Oh. What did Vicky throw at Matt when she was in the hospital? Like a jello. Yeah, correct. Oh, that's fun. That's <laughs> correct. fun. Yeah. Super brief, but you got it. Yeah. Anything season one I can recall. Season one, so yeah. Instantly. Way easier than the other seasons. I love season one. All right. This last one. I think this is the hardest question. Uh-oh. I mean, maybe not now that I've done the actual game with you guys, yeah. but it is pretty hard. So this question is for you, Rachel. Okay. And it's from Danny Consolvo. What musical artist poster does Elena have hanging up in her room? Jamie Lydell. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, Girl. we talk about this all the time. <laughs> you, what are you really? talking about? Okay, yeah. it must not be in the room. <laughs> we talk about this all the time. <laughs> yeah, Jamie Lydell. I thought yeah. it was like Jamie Bell, but I feel no. like we've talked about this because you do recall it, and I'm always like, Jamie Bell? <laughs> yeah, Jamie Lydell. I don't know why. It sticks out so much to me. It's so yeah. funny. Liddell, yeah. Yeah. Well, I thought that was harder than that, but... <laughs> We're psychos. What yeah, you if it is in, a, in season one or two in any way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, too easy for me. And then there are a few extra ones that kind of don't really have a definitive answer, but I just wanted to throw them out there because they're okay. kind of funny. Okay. Um, well, there's some there's that were listener like, submitted. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, well, there were some that were easy, like someone, Madison WLLX said, who did Elena meet first? Damn. We all Damn know. It. We all know. Damn it, Damn it. And someone else, High Gardens, they said, who has died the most times? Oh, boy. I think it's Alaric. I was going to say Alaric, too. But That's correct. Yeah, Alaric. Yeah. That's a lot. I he think it's eight times. Time. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. No wonder he goes crazy. Yeah. Um, Bonnie stays dead the longest, it feels like. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Yeah. And then these ones, no answer for them, but I just want to throw them out there. Okay. KD Rose, Kaz said how many times has elena been mistaken for catherine Pff, countless. countless yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> too many to count who knows <laughs> yeah. okay the next one is from lucy m how many supernatural species have appeared on the show oh that's a good one that's a good question vampires witches werewolves heretics uh travelers yeah. hybrids psychic silas psychic. is psychic uh, the devil the devil himself yeah. sirens sirens yep uh who else would you say i don't know humans do you count i feel them? like there are, are a couple things in the armory that's true that's doppelganger true. is a oh doppelganger is another one and i yeah. think there are a couple things that are in the armory that I've... they're probably at least mentioned i don't know if they would count i know we can't it's mention legacies one. though there's yeah hundreds. if you watch legacies Countless. yeah there's a dozen every episode oh my yeah, god that's true. <laughs> there's literally a new one every single episode that's good yeah but vampires alone that's like nearly 10 yeah no there's yeah. a lot because then there's lot. also like ghosts spirits, oh yeah stuff ghosts yeah. um so yeah that was a good question but i don't know how to find countless. an answer for that yeah countless the answer's right. probably like 20 some we'd never know yeah all right, so this last one. This is the last question of the game. Okay. This is my most favorite listener submitted question because okay. it's a good question, but like, it's just funny. I don't know how to say the username. It's like not Xanax, but something like that. If you if you wrote it, you know it's you. So the question is: When is the first time we see a TV in the Salvatore house? Damon watching Andy on the news in season two, episode thirteen, after he's killed like Jessica and all of them. Is that right? <laughs> I didn't find an answer for oh, it. Oh, I think yeah. that's the answer. I don't yeah, know. I didn't know how to find the answer. I didn't want to be like searching Google. When is the first time there's a TV in the? We Salvador talk about house? this several yeah, times. Yeah, we talked about how we weren't sure. Which is the person probably has heard us talk about it. My guess is season two, episode thirteen, when he sees Andy on the news probably. after he kills all those that people. That makes sense. I feel like that's probably it. Because we know. talk about in season one how we're like, there's not a single TV. Yeah. Where are they watching? Yeah. We gotta movie? roll out the like old school yeah, projector. The projector. Yeah, the projector. Yeah, projector. I forgot about the projector. <laughs> yeah. So I think it's two. It's probably that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good answer. I would say. I don't know yeah. if there was an answer, but I think that's an interesting question. Somebody fact check us. Yeah. So that is it for trivia. Yay! Wow. Really fun. Yeah. You guys did great. I don't have the answers tallied up, though. <laughs> we'll put them on the screen. We'll put so it on yeah, the screen. Yeah. Let It'll us know there, in the comments if you beat Sarah and Rachel. Yeah, I want to know what other if people's If you didn't beat was. me, I'm, I'd be shocked. I feel like I really... <laughs> I feel like the questions are very hard. And They're pretty hard. And you got some that I never would have gotten. So it's always funny how... Look at the draw there. Although they, their scores should technically be ours since ours are only halved and theirs would be full. But Yeah, I guess that's true. So you should all beat us. Let us know your scores. Um... And that's it for the trivia. Yeah. A little fun round of trivia, drinking some Brothers Bond bourbon mm-hmm. and some fresh fine wine. Slumbering it. Slumbering it. Yeah. Um, next week, we're going to do a special episode that we'll be announcing on our socials. You can, of course, find that linked in our various bios and descriptions, our Instagram, our TikTok. Um, we're always posting fun clips, memes, polls, all sorts of things there that you can participate in. Um, so, yeah. And the best song playlist, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, and you can listen to the podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, and you can watch the video version on YouTube if you're not already doing that. So, yeah, yeah, join us next Thursday for a special, the topic of which will be released at a later date. (laughs) Yeah. Thanks for watching and or listening to this one. Bye. Bye. Bye.